All right, so here is my robot. You can download this off of the Moodle. It's called Robot Sample, if you like. And my robot is separated into three pieces. Okay, your robot might have more pieces, and that's totally fine. So actually, you can see up in the top here um, these different pieces. So I'm actually going to rename this to be torso, and this will be left leg and right leg. Okay, if you have lots of pieces, it makes sense to name them because it's easily you know easy to lose track of what's what. All right, so let's look at the torso first of all. Now the materials is if your sidebar is small like that, you might have to drag it out. And it is the one right beside the checkerboard. Okay, it looks like a like a circle. Okay, but not this circle. This is the world. Okay, this is the, the materials one. So what I have to do is click on a plus, add a new material slot, and then I can click new down here. And this allows me to define a material to apply to my selection. Okay, so there's lots and lots of options here, but I'll just show you an example. Um, right now it's just Lambert gray. If I click on this color here, I can pick a new color. So I can make it blue or red, yellow, whatever color I want. I'm going to go for kind of a camo green here just for fun. Okay, um, you can also specify the intensity of the color. Okay, and there's also um, specular. Specular refers to the refle reflected light. So you can change the color of reflected light. So you can see the difference. This is white. This is now red. Okay, see that? All right, so you can play around with that a bit. And you can always see an example up here of what it's going to look like on different shapes. Okay. We can also play with translucence if you want to make something like you know, a pure see-through. Maybe if you want to have a, a glass cockpit or something on your robot. Okay, there's lots and lots of options here. I'm not going to get into them all, but feel free to play around. Okay. Now, on something like this, where it's all one object, if you want to change just a part of it, what you'll have to do is go into edit mode. And for instance, if I want to change the, the window here to a different color, I can select these faces and I can actually add a new material to those faces alone. Okay, so let's make that like uh, a red. Okay, and click assign. Okay, so you can see it has assigned it to just the, just the window there. Okay, it will look a little bit different once I've rendered it. Okay. So it's starting to look a bit better. Um, I kind of made a mistake when I was modeling this because these guns are considered part of this object. But what I can do is go into, go into edit mode and use the box select tool. Okay, so there we go. I've selected just the guns and I'm gonna assign a new material to that as well. Let's make that a black. Okay, you do have to click assign once you've picked your material. That will give it the color. Okay, so you can see it's starting to shape up. Now, if you want to add an actual metal texture to something, then what you can do is go to Google. Let's find a metal texture. Uh, I'm just going to try to find fairly large ones. Let's see if this one works. Okay, so I want to save this somewhere on the computer. The desktop is probably fine. Okay, then why don't I add that to the green, just for fun. Okay, so the texture is this checkerboard right beside it. So I click on this. I can add a new texture channel. Okay, and the type is going to be, where is it here? Uh, image or movie. Okay, and I want to open, let's get to my desktop. 
Where are we here? I don't want to be on my downloads. Okay, H drive, desktop. I think it was called Iron Texture. There it is. Okay, so there's my texture. Now we can't actually see it in this mode here. You could always go down here and turn it on rendered and you can, you'll see it applied, but it's very slow panning around here. Okay, so I'm just gonna go back to solid. And you can kind of press F12 to see it. So it has applied this metal texture. I know it's really dark on your screens. Why don't I add a new lamp? Let's put a lamp right in front of it. Oh, there already is one. Let's see if that makes a difference. Okay. I know it's dark up here, but on my screen it looks not too bad. It's applied the metal texture to it. Um, one quick thing about textures is right now the texture is applying the color. Okay, so I can scale that back if I want to see my green shine through and get a little bit of metal there. Um, the other thing you can do, guys, is have the texture applied to geometry. So I think there were a couple tutorials that showed you how that works. I don't know if that will make a big difference to... Well, actually, that looks pretty cool. You can see... Let me zoom in here. You can see that it's made my robot a little bit bumpy. And the light is kind of shining off it. You see that? So that's actually really cool. I think I'll keep that. Okay, it looks like a battle damage mech or something. Okay, so essentially that is how we can add materials and textures. Um, there's a lot more to it if you want to get in depth, but that's, you know, kind of the basics of it.